Once again, welcome back to KCS Classes. KCS Classes in a video swagadam. This is Kiran CS. Calcutta University, 5th semester BCom. A2 important area problem paper. Management accounting on the discussion continues. So, management accounting la ratio analysis chapter on the discussion. So, solvency ratios, like leverage ratios on the discussion. Uh, last video in solvency ratios uh, debt equity ratio namlu kandu proprietors proprietary ratio discuss edu so continuation aite solvency ratio le namukku oru moonu ratio kudi aanu namlu enna discuss cheyyanathu adile aadyathiyana solvency ratio that means total asset to total debt ratio ne namukku parayan pattunnana solvency ratio total assets oru organization de total assets um Total debt number relation and number of solvency ratio number of the issue in the okay above number of the year and the garing on another relation on a so total assets means area total fixed assets plus total current assets on a total assets then total debt means total long term debt plus total current liabilities so this is the relation and number of solvency ratio number of the issue in the so what is a simple item to problem to go to go we will see the ratios. We will see the ratios. We will see the ratios. the ratios. the so total asset to total debt ratio ne aanu nammala solvency ratio ennu paraya namu question le assets less depreciation thannirunde current assets unde current liabilities unde debentures mortgage details appo vale simple aayulla karyangal aanu easily identify cheythu apply cheythal answer kittu appo endana equation nammade total assets to total debt aanu so total assets kittanamengil we required fixed asset total plus current assets total so total assets is equal to namaka identify cheyam ingile edukkiya venda nalladhu fixed assets and less depreciation rupees 6 lakh so nammal aadyam thanne fixed assets eduthu 6 lakh rupees 6 lakh rupees next namaka current assets and so next current assets is equal to 3 lakh rupees 3 lakh rupees. So total assets in the world are 9 lakh rupees. And total assets. Now we have the item available. Next total debt. Total liability. So next is the total debt is equal to. Total debt is equal to. Current liability debentures more gauges. So we Total debt type. So, number of adjacent current liabilities. Current liabilities. Current liabilities. So, current liabilities in the amount where is the one lakh seventy five thousand rupees. One lakh seventy five thousand. Next, eight percentage debentures. Eight percentage debentures. Amount where is the 2 lakh rupees are 2 lakh rupees are amount moving to next mortgages 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 amount is equal to 2 lakh 25000 rupees are 2 lakh 25000 rupees so the moonu kodi add cheyumbo namaku total debt available ana that means ivide 6 lakh rupees are nammude total debt varunu so, we have total assets and total debt. This is the relation of the solvency ratio. Total asset to total debt. So, that means apply to 9 lakh, 9 lakh divided by 6 lakhs is equal to ratio 1.5. That means 1.5 is to 1 on solvency ratio. So, what are the easy ratio? Solvency ratio. Clarity in the region, so we have leverage ratio and solvency ratio. Next, fixed asset ratio and discuss. So, that's what we have to do. 
Moving to next ratio, fixed asset ratio. So, easy item of one flag on the two. Fixed asset after depreciation, long term fund, that means capital employed. This is the middle relationship in the other uh, fixed asset ratio in the one of the other. Then, fixed asset ratio is equal to fixed assets after depreciation divided by capital employed, along with long term funds. So, uh, other related to the problem, the other problem is that 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 the other problem is Ah, the end of the fixed assets after depreciation at the end of the identified question is the fixed asset net 7,50,000. So, are you with them? Fixed assets, fixed assets net is equal to 7,50,000 rupees. So, the next to end of the long term funds are so other than calculated up next day at the long term. Long term funds, long term funds is equal to. I'm going to the party my land that got equity share capital, equity share capital, share capital is equal to amount of personal loan care 2 lakh rupees. Anna. 2 lakh rupees. Next, uh, preference share capital 1 lakh. Preference share capital is equal to 1 lakh rupees. Any number of the under the reserves and surplus in for reserves and surplus, reserves and surplus amount of surplus is equal to 75,000 rupees. 75,000. Next, long term loans is the long term loan. Long term loans is equal to one lakh rupees. One lakh rupees. Then last one debentures in the six percentage debentures is equal to amount to another one lakh twenty five thousand. One lakh twenty five thousand. Now, it three details are on long term fund. No combo get another along the ID. But I'm going another six lakh rupees. 6 lakh rupees. So, now we have to apply the fixed assets. We have to apply the So, 7 lakh 50,000 divided by long term funds. So, 6 lakh rupees. So, 7 lakh 50,000 divided by 6 lakh. 1.25 is to 1. So, fixed asset ratio. So, what are these ratio and the number of fixed asset ratio? Any solvency ratio, we will discuss the capital gearing ratio. So, in the problem, we will separate the equation. Then, the problem, full problem, we will relate to the number So, capital gearing ratio is the next. So, next, we will capital gearing ratio. So, capital gearing ratio is the relationship between fixed income gearing funds divided by equity shareholders fund. So, fixed income gearing funds are the same as fixed income security. We have to prefer share capital, fixed income security. Then, debentures. So, we have to fixed income security. We have to write off interest rate. We have to write off interest rate. Preference shareholders in the loans in the interest in the rate. Now, this is the number of fixed income gearing funds. So, this is the total preference share capital, debentures, and the number of fixed income gearing funds. So, this is the number of add divided by equity shareholders fund. Equity shareholders in the equity share capital plus. Reserves and surplus. This is equity shareholders. So, this is the relationship capital gearing ratio. So, this is the 
So, fixed income gearing funds divided by equity shareholders fund on a capital gearing ratio in the original Uddish. Clarity is in the original. So, we have solvency ratios. Number and down there. That is number of the liquidity ratios. That is current ratio, liquid ratio. Then, that is the solvency ratio. Debt equity ratio. Then, proprietary ratio. Then, in the solvency ratio. Then, that is the fixed asset ratio. And after that, capital gearing ratio. Discuss it. So, next, we will coverage ratios. We will discuss the video in the next video. So, we will see you in the next video. This is Kiran CS signing off. Have a nice day. Thank you.